Hi guys, Aaron Chowder here for Thrower Football, DRFC, Your Dog Throwers Fan Channel. It is Daily Reports Day. Before we get started though, I have a special happy birthday message. Now, I was sent a message by a good guy called Nathan, uh, who said it's Callum's birthday today, and he's a huge fan of the channel. Uh, would you like to send me a happy birthday? And I said, of course I would. So, I want to give a massive thank you first of all to Nathan who sent me the message, and also... Happy birthday, Callum. I hope you have a wonderful birthday, mate. From myself, Aaron Chalner, Forever Football, DRFC. Uh, now, let's get into a couple of stories today. It's not, not the longest daily reports in the world today, but it is still a good one. Because we were talking about pre-season leading up to uh, that 17th of July friendly away at Bradford City. Of course, no away fans. Don't worry. Um, yeah, so 17th of July, no away fans, Bradford City preseason match. Uh, we were talking about the build up to that, including positive injury news on Anderson, not so positive injury news on Okanabiri, and also uh, what kind of squad we're expected to put out uh, via Wellens himself. So before we get started, please like, comment, subscribe, click the case box to miss another video, and let's get straight into this one. So let's start off with uh, going into what we're looking at in terms of the squad we're putting out. So, Wellens spoke about the Scotland pre-season trip and the cancellation of the friendly, insisting he's not too concerned that Rovers being forced to miss out one of their scheduled friendlies this week. And he also went out and said uh, about the kind of squad he's going to put out against Bradford City. It means that he um, a number of players missing out on a 10-day period, meaning they'll not get as much out of Saturday's friendly with Bradford City as he had hoped. Uh, now he said the Bradford game will be a patched up team with a number of trellists and young lads. It's disruptive, but we'll have to make the best of it. It'll be a fitness exercise for the lads involved, and we'll have to get more trellis involved to fulfil the fixture. It'll be a good opportunity for them, as well as the li uh, likes of Ben Bly, Liam Ravenhill and Lyra Kasani, to get more minutes than we might have anticipated. Uh, and he spoke about having a wonderful core group of players and how they bonded over the Scotland training camp. Now, obviously, to give you an extension onto that update, ahead of the Bradford game on the 17th, uh, positive and negative injury news for Anderson and Okunabira, respectively. Now, Wellens confirmed by the free press that Tom Anderson is set to be fit enough to feature in the friendly against Bradford. However, for Jiri Okunabira, he's likely to miss uh, this particular game, uh, saying he's a little bit behind Tom, and I imagine he won't make it at the weekend as he continues to shake off uh, the injuries. Uh, now, obviously, this is two quite interesting updates. Now, first of all, on the pre-season camp news. Now, obviously, uh, very interesting news there about pre-season camp and about the fact that we're probably going to be expecting a lot more of the trialists, a lot more of the young lads to play against Bradford City. And to be fair, it's nice to give them a run out. You know, I do want to see uh, Blythe get more minutes. I do want to see Ravenhill get minutes. I want to see Asani get more minutes as well. Um, you know, three young lads that are going to be part of the future of Rovers. And, you know, it's going to be nice to see them get minutes. So, overall, I'm excited to see that. I, obviously, it's going to change my prediction for the 16th of July a lot more, uh, of the prediction video. But I think it's going to be very interesting to see exactly what kind of team we're going to put out. Is it going to be a first half, second half team like we did in the Rosington main match? Or because of the whole 10 day period stuff uh, with the first team players that were in close contact with the player that tested positive for COVID? Uh, you know, are we expecting to see um, a, you know, are we expecting to see a first half and a second half very similar to each other? You know, that's going to be very interesting to see. Obviously, injury-wise, Anderson, it's great to see that he's recovering. Hopefully, he'll be back for the weekend. I expect if we are going to put out something slightly different for the second half, maybe not 100% different team to the first half of the second half, uh, but I expect Anderson maybe to play the second half or maybe come in half an hour into the second half. But uh, again, you'll have to stay tuned to my prediction to see where I play him. And of course, Ocon Abira missing out is a big negative, unfortunately, but I'm sure that he will be back. So... There we go, guys. Not the biggest daily reports today. Just a little couple of updates there for you guys to uh, listen out for. Um, so stay tuned for more news as we get it for future daily reports. For now, guys, please like, comment, subscribe. Cut the case bar so you never missed another video. Happy birthday, Callum. Hope you have a wonderful birthday, mate. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Keep living the Rover's life. And that, my friends, full time. Rover's side die. Thank you very much. And I hope you all have a wonderful afternoon. Rover's